Okay, I just found another study, and uh, this one doesn't have. Okay, I just read it to you. Patients with blood types B and AB who received the test were more likely to test positive, as were those who were Rh positive, and blood type O was less likely to test positive. So what this study, this particular study that I will link to below the blog, what it points out is that, um, you know, before we focus too much on blood type A, and what this shows us is that um, we may be wrong to focus on blood type A and simply have to focus on the fact that blood type O is the most protected and RH negatives are the most protected from COVID-19. As, uh, as for the rest, uh, sorry, I, can, I still can't get out of my mind these people who say that AB negatives are immune. No, AB is actually a, not immune whatsoever. But um, there will be more studies coming and I hope that there are going to be some very, very large numbers of uh, subjects because the exact nature of the association if there are uh, factors associated with blood type somehow but not directly um, that play a role we, we need to eliminate we need to look at all of that um, I think it's safe to say with the five or six studies that I have seen so far that you know the consistency of data reveals that uh, people with blood type you know and by the way this has nothing to do with immunity I want to make sure that you guys do not get this confused and uh, change your behavior and all of that and by the way this is not doctor's advice this is entertainment purposes so my disclaimer the O protection and the Rh negative protection, that's, these are two things that are consistent so far in the studies that I have seen, in all of them, and nothing so far has contradicted these findings. So let's see what is next, let's see what other studies people will come up with. I'm very, very happy to see that apparently, you know, before it wasn't like that, before you would see one study of 30 or 40 subjects and uh, it indicates something but I'm always wondering if I was in a hospital staff or I had any kind of uh, say so I would immediately say hey let's uh, make this a study let's look for the blood types let's compare this let's see if we can do something with that but you know you cannot expect people to go um, develop interest in something they're not really you know what I mean people do their jobs and they go da, 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 da. so yes of course we me and those who actually watch this video are passionate about this not only passionate but we also know that there are things that uh, we can find out on our own and we need to as a group, a population of Irish negative people worldwide, we are very interested in what all of that may reveal because there are so many health differences between Irish negatives and Irish positives, personality types of differences, um, predispositions to mental and physical disorders, you name it, it is uh, building up and finally, after all these years, we are seeing now uh, that finally more and more people, some people start to catch on little by little that they say, you know, maybe we should look at blood types more. And of course, I don't want you to talk to, about aliens or all of that. We need to be serious now because if you go out there and talk about aliens and go on Facebook and share videos about Irish negative people are aliens, then you are part of the problem. That means that you are basically working against 
um, us because there's going to be such a negative association between Rh negative blood uh, and what comes with it that no scientist wants to touch this. No scientist wants to talk and examine anything that has that suggests these differences, even if they have already been proven. So we need to eliminate uh, the people out of our lives that are trying to hijack us and try to represent us and state that uh, we come from aliens and we are from planet Nibiru and I hear all this garbage. You know, if you are friends with any of these people on Facebook and you are in a group that promotes this kind of nonsense, then you are a part of the problem. Then you obviously don't need to be anywhere close to me or around me or anywhere near um, any place where people actually work hard on researching in order to not just make things better for us but also the future generations of Irish negative people. I think that's what is very, very important right now that we uh, think, you know, back in the Middle Ages, Irish negative people probably had it very, very bad due to our personality traits and not really being able to cope with nonsense and the, you know, things are getting better, but only if we make them better. The opportunity to make things better for everybody is right now. So you need to take responsibility. We are in a movement and we need unity and we all need to have Irish negative get togethers very, very soon. Because I think there's a connection between us. A final element worthy of discussion is that there is certainly a, 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 a you're able to account for co-founding factors. Yeah, discussions. I'm not. Sure, I'm not. You know, the discussion part of any study. Um, you know, this is something to be very, very careful with. Blood type O had the lowest frequency. Similar to yes, we got that. Interesting. The finding related to blood type O appears to correlate across our study and that of both Zhao et al. and Zitz and Tatonelli. But the blood type A correlation was not found in our study. That is interesting. The blood type, the Chinese study, remember when I posted it and people were saying it's not been peer reviewed. Well, now it is being examined and in form of other studies being published. But for some reason, this one study that I will post below the video, this new one, very new one, what's, let me see where it's from. Uh, they, they don't seem to be, uh, the, the, the Chinese studies had blood type A has the highest risk, and this study doesn't find that, but they find B and AB to be at the highest risk. Okay, the Rh positive association with disease positivity appears to be a novel finding and warrants further investigations. Now what's interesting about this, um, this is a new study and the study that I've already shared with you from New York Presbyterian is two months older than this one. So what they say, they find the same thing, that Rh positives are more likely to be uh, disease positive, they, but they, they, they call it a novel finding. It's not a novel finding. They just haven't read July 12th. No, no, no. They have not read what the uh, uh, New York Presbyterian Hospital has found two months earlier. You know what I mean? So they say 
<laughs> appears to be, uh, yes, Rh positives are more likely to be disease positive, meaning Rh negatives are less likely, which this study shows. And it's a novel finding. It's not. They just didn't pay attention. They did their own thing. These people do their own thing. There isn't an international community in terms of uh, looking at the same thing. It's one hospital saying, oh, look at the Chinese study. Let me find. They don't pay attention to what other hospitals are doing. Given the relative rarity of various negative blood types, these could not be stratified out by blood type given our patient numbers in this study. I see. Basically, the indications that they see, they are afraid to focus on the data showing low percentages of Rh negative people because it is so rare. And they are afraid to come to conclusions. And so basically, what they're saying is you know, Rh positives are more likely. Okay. They're all afraid. They're all dancing around the bush, if you will. Let me see what what Boston. Yeah, it's from Boston, Massachusetts. Sit, Boston, Massachusetts. Which is really sad because it's you know United States like New York, but they don't exchange information, I guess. But anyways, blood type A, B, and B seem to be pointed out and so are Rh positive people. Thank you for watching.